everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you a complex of manganese 3 and acetylacetone. Now this complex is interesting because it contains, obviously, manganese 3. Now you don't normally hear manganese 3 in many things apart from manganese 3 acetate or manganese 3 oxide. That's because manganese 3 is pretty unstable and disproportionates into manganese 2 and manganese 4. However, if we can complex it with acetylacetone, it can be stabilized. And today, that's exactly what I'm going to do. So, the ingredients needed for this complex are 100 milliliters of distilled water on the right. To the left of that is 13.6 grams of sodium acetate. To the left of that, we have 5.2 grams of manganese 2 chloride. Then, Slightly farther left, we have 20 milliliters of acetylacetone, or 2,4-pentanedione. And finally, on the far left, we have 1.04 grams of potassium permanganate. You will also need two successive portions of 25 and another 25 milliliters of distilled water to dissolve uh, the reagents. Now, I do feel like I should mention that, since I am doubling this synthesis, you will actually need two portions of 50 milliliters of water, not 25. So, just felt like I should add that. Well, I forgot to mention, in addition to this, you will also need a second portion of 12.6 grams of sodium acetate. Now that I think about it, because I am doubling the synthesis, I'm going to need 200 milliliters of distilled water to begin with. So, let me go ahead and measure that out. So, with the 200 milliliters of distilled water weighed out in a 500 milliliter beaker, what I'm going to do now is dissolve both the manganese chloride and the sodium acetate in the distilled water here. Since there does seem to be a few impurities in my manganese chloride as it was homemade, I'm going to go ahead and have to filter this solution. Okay, now that everything's filtered, I'm going to go ahead and add the sodium acetate. Once this is all dissolved, we can continue. While the sodium acetate is dissolving, I'm going to go ahead and dissolve the potassium permanganate in the 50 milliliters of water. This shouldn't take too long to dissolve. As the potassium permanganate is dissolving, I'm going to go ahead and add the 20 milliliters of acetylacetone to the manganese 2 chloride and sodium acetate solution. This probably won't all dissolve and will create a suspension of acetylacetone, but that's okay. I'm going to increase stirring a small bit, and then we can go ahead and add the potassium permanganate after some of this has dissolved just a little bit. Before continuing, it is wise to make up a solution of 12.6 grams of the sodium acetate in 50 milliliters of water. We will need to do this anyway down the road, but it's just wise to do it beforehand so you have it all ready. Once this is done dissolving, just go ahead and set it off to the side. You won't need it for a little while. Now it seems that all the acetylacetone is dissolved. What I'm going to do now is slowly add the potassium permanganate solution to this acetylacetone and manganese 2 solution. We can see the nice brown color of the manganese 3 being formed. Now that all of the sodium acetate is done dissolving, I'm going to go ahead and add the sodium acetate solution that we just made to this solution. Beautiful! I can already begin to see some of the manganese 3 acetylacetate uh, complex crystallizing out. It has some beautiful black crystals on the top of the solution. Let me get a little closer.
From here, the solution needs to be heated to between 60 and 70 degrees Celsius on the hot plate for about 15 minutes. I'd like to take this time to give a shout out to my friend Mouski. He's almost at 100 subscribers, and honestly, he deserves a lot more than what he has now. He's got some great content, he's got a great channel, and if you haven't gone over to his channel and uh, hit him with a sub, then you really should. Quality stuff. Now to explain what's happening here. So, as you saw in the beginning, we started with manganese 2, in the form of manganese 2 chloride. Now, that will make a complex with acetylacetone. That would be manganese 2 bis acetylacetonate. The manganese 2 got oxidized by the potassium for manganate we added, forming manganese 3. This manganese 3 was stabilized by the acetylacetonate ligands and formed the manganese 3 tris acetylacetonate complex. This complex is insoluble in water and precipitates out. The solid form is a beautiful black slash very very dark brown crystalline solid with a sort of shiny appearance to it. This reaction will work if the solution is not heated, however, a higher yield can be achieved if the solution is heated and then cooled in an ice bath, which is exactly what I'm going to do. Everything's done heating, all I have to do is let it cool down. And since I don't have an ice bath on me, I'm just gonna go ahead and put it outside for an hour or two. Okay, now that everything's cooled down to room temperature, we just need to filter it. So here is the product after just filtering. Some beautiful glistening black crystals of manganese 3 acetylacetonate. Very interesting and a rare example of a stable manganese 3 compound. I really hope you enjoyed. You can like if you want to, subscribe if you want to, and thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Special thank you to my Patreon supporters. Without you guys, videos like this would be impossible. So, thank you.